Russia and the United States traded accusations on Iran's role in unrest in Mideast at the United Nations on Monday. Addressing the Security Council, Russian Ambassador Vasily Nebenzia said Israel is intentionally raising tensions with Iran, despite signals from Tehran that the country is ready to refrain from further spiraling confrontation. Nebenzia accused the U.S. of shirking its responsibility as a permanent member of the Security Council by assisting in Israel's attacks on Iran. We are call on the United States to be responsible l and allow the main UN body to use all of their tools at their disposal disposal to stop the conflict. The US pushed back, saying Russia's support for Iran comes because of an increasing reliance on Iranian weapons to sustain its war in Ukraine. We have the collective responsibility to prove Iran wrong, even in the face of action by one member of this council, Russia. We must impose costs for supporting terrorism and undermining international peace and stability, U.S. Ambassador Linda Thomas-Greenfield said. The United Kingdom, meanwhile said Iran must stop its aggression in the region and said it is gravely concerned by the legislation voted on in the Israeli Knesset which seeks to curtail UNRWA's ability to operate in Gaza. В этом контексте глубоко обеспокоена непрекращающаяся и нарастающая взрывоопасная эскалация между Израилем и Исламской Республикой Иран, которая создает реальные угрозы стабильности и безопасности в регионе. Настойчиво призываем все вовлеченные стороны к сдержанности, прекращению насилия и недопущению развития событий по катастрофическому сценарию. Всем протагонистам важно найти в себе силы и мудрость выйти наконец из этой спирали неконтролируемой эскалации. А после серии политических ликвидаций, включая убийство главы из полсовета Хамас Хании, генерального состаря Хизбаллы Насралы и ряда других лидеров противостоящих Израилю движений, на Западном Иерусалиме пытаются всеми силами втянуть в конфронтацию и Иран, проявляющий исключительную, исключительную в данных обстоятельствах сдержанность. Сложно избавиться от ощущения, что в Западном Иерусалиме сознательно идут на обострение, несмотря на сигналы Тегерана, о готовности воздержаться от дальнейшего раскручивания спирали конфронтации. При этом призываем Соединенные Штаты ответственно отнестись к своим обязанностям постоянного члена Совета Безопасности и позволить, наконец, главному органу ООН, ответственному за поддержание международного мира и безопасности, использовать весь имеющийся у него инструментарий для остановки конфликта и выполнения имеющихся профильных резолюций по ближневосточному регулированию. Iran requested this meeting today. Its representative seeks to gaslight and deflect to claim the role of victim while continuing to sow chaos across the region. And because Russia is increasingly reliant on Iranian weapons to sustain its illegal, unprovoked war of aggression against Ukraine, Iran believes this council will have no choice but to look the other way. We have the collective responsibility to prove Iran wrong, even in the face of obstruction by one member of this council, Russia. We must impose costs for supporting terrorism and undermining international peace and stability. So today, our message must be clear. We will not allow the region's future to be dictated by Tehran and its proxies, whose actions before on and since October 7th have put millions of innocent civilians at risk. Today the United States message for Israel remains clear. We will always help secure its people and territory from Iran and its terrorist proxies and partners. Our message for Iran remains clear as well. Should it choose to undertake further aggressive acts against Israel or U.S. personnel in the region, there will be severe consequences. We will not hesitate to act in self-defense. Iran should not respond. All sides must exercise restraint. No good can come of pouring more fuel on the flames of this escalating cycle of violence. We have been clear that Iran must end this support. 
All our efforts now should be on breaking the cycle of violence. Let me be clear, a regional war is in no one's interest. We're also gravely concerned by Israeli Knesset legislation voted on today, which seeks to curtail UNRWA's ability to operate. Israel must abide by its obligations and ensure UNRWA can continue to provide essential services to those suffering in Gaza and the West Bank. Former American wrestler Hulk Hogan appeared at a campaign rally for former President Donald Trump at Madison Square Garden in New York. I don't see no Nazis here, Hogan said as he tried to rile supporters at the event which comes with just over a week before Election Day. The gathering on Sunday was billed by Trump's campaigners as the event where the Republican presidential nominee would deliver his closing message into an illustration of what turns off his critics. You know something, Trump maniacs? I don't see no stinking Nazis in here. I don't see no stinking domestic terrorists in here. The only thing I see in here are a bunch of hard-working men and women that are real Americans, brother. You know when I hear my president and our president, Donald Trump, speak, he sounds for real, brother. He sounds like he has a heart of gold that's all for the USA. But when I hear Kamala speak, it sounds, yeah, it sounds like a script from Hollywood with a really, really bad actress. <laughs> 